Hello, it's Arrive Breezy back with episode 2 of our Crown Tundra DLC playthrough. Today we are going to go catch up with Peony as he's in the next town planning our adventure of the Crown Tundra. And here is our team. We still haven't got healed up yet from the start of battle with Peony. But we got Jaeger here, our Togekiss. Our Gigantamax, Venusaur, Deku, Kirito, our Lucario, Hestia, our Alolan Ninetales, Jiro, our Jolteon, and Alifa, our Flagon. I should probably put someone new in the front, but I'm sure I'll avoid people. <laughs> that man's booking it! And then you go that way. And there's like a log cabin I saw down there. Is that the town? We shall find out. I can't remember that Pokemon's name. That little pink one. <laughs> Alright, what's this town's name? Freezington. How are they growing crops in frozen ground? Hello, hello. What have we have here? Another visitor? I am the mayor of this fair town in Freezington. I must say, it's a surprise to have visitors arriving in our out-of-the-way town one after another. Might you be here to learn about the legend of the King of Bountiful Harvests as well? Not really, but let's hear it. Ah, never mind. It hardly bears asking. After all, there's very little otherwise to attract visitors to our sleepy corner of the region. Which is a bit of shame, really. People come all this way to investigate what turns out to be a mere fairy tale. But since you've made the journey, I must offer you this Freezington specialty as a memento. A boat neck sweatshirt. It's a shirt emblazoned with the likeliness of the King of Bountiful Harvests. I'm afraid it hasn't sold quite as well as we hoped. We got a fair number left over. The illustrations based on an extremely ancient accounts of the king's appearance. It's the unusually sized head. But we thought it might make the design a touch more hip, as they say. If you'd like to see the king what it really looked like, I suggest you take a look at the statue. Kinda looks like there's a rabbit riding on a horse. Statue by the fields in the center of our village. By the by, while you're here in the Crown Tundra, feel free to let your lead Pokemon out of its ball and take it for a stroll. Farewell for now, then. Oi! Over here, Breezy! Go Togekiss! How's this feel? Our village may not be in the liveliest place, but do have a relaxing stay and enjoy the sights. I suppose there's not much to see besides that old statue, but enjoy the one sight anyway. I want my Pokemon healed. She just has a Cosmog? It's cold outside, dearie. Why not stay at, stay a while and get warmed up? Do you like walking around together with your favorite Pokemon? Yes. Right, it's the best. Enjoy walking together all over the place. You decided to have your lead Pokemon walk around. 
Oh, so you can turn it off and on there? Oh, that's... Luffy. I found it shivering outside the village and just had to bring it home. You know, I think it was just about when I found Floofy that other strange Pokemon began appearing in the tundra. I have never seen a Pokemon like Floofy before. Maybe it'd be best to have a proper trainer take care of it. If only I could find a dependable one. <laughs> Come on, lady. I don't feel like that house will heal me. All our youngins have gone off to live in a big city. It's tough for us old folks getting by with our Pokemon. Energy Brute? How do I get back there? Frost Point Field. Sir, sir, leave me alone. Our team is not suited for this environment. This is the mayor. Somehow it feels as if it's missing something. What's this area right here? I feel like this is important. Bell dumb? I know the majority of like the pseudo legendary Pokemon are in this DLC also. Like Utility Umbrella. Pokemon yeah. Item to be held by a Pokemon. The sturdy umbrella protects the holder from the effects of rain and starch or sun. How does that work? Weather just doesn't work for one Pokemon? I saw that TM back there. That's really hidden. Oh! Oh my! Raises speed sharply when a Pokemon misses with a move because of accuracy. You think they'd put good moves in these. That guy's just gonna sell me stuff for like watts. Is that the mayor? Have you had a look at our statue of the King of Bountiful Harvest? I have. Somebody please heal me in this town. I thought. Large leak. Please heal me. Welcome to Freelington. It must have been quite a journey to get here. The Crown Thunder is famous for carrots, you know. Maybe you'd be interested in getting some carrot seed as a souvenir. Oh, please. Oh, quite the enthusiastic one, aren't you? Though I must admit, these seeds are rather valuable to us. Eight dynite ore for carrot seeds? Life is all about quid pro go, or whatever that phrase was. All right, we're not getting carrot seeds. There's a secret passage up here. That wasn't worth, oh, there's something. Please be worth it. Questionable. Although I'm pretty sure that's one of the better poison moves. All right, let's, oh, there's something back here too, jeez. A wishing piece. What's Peony got? Ah, here you are. What is that? Is that the top part of the statue? This pokey little place will be our lodging. It totally is. Why does it keep focusing on that, you know? <laughs> but at this but as of this moment, it's also something far more important. Our base camp. I know I know. Not much of a base camp, is it? Still, 
We've got to give her a proper, proper air of importance, haven't we? Now, enough faffling about, Breezy. Let me tell you about the Peony Exploration Team. What the Peony Exploration Team is after. Around here, they've got a fair few strange and mysterious legends. For example, a huge-headed Pokemon known as the King of Bountiful Harvest. Not to mention, a massive red tree where legendary flying Pokemon gather. And furthermore, these great hulking dot-faced giants that sleep in some ruins or something. Etc. See what I mean? This place is just bursting with juicy legends. And we're not stopping until we've found just how much truth they've got to them. And there you have it. We are the Peo Peony Exploration Team. And that is our grand, noble, magnificent goal. Of course, if I had my way, I'd be doing this with my darling Nia. <laughs> but who knows? They say even Chansey's meetings can lead to blissy, blissy full friendships. <laughs> so here's to a grand adventure. Expedition Chief Breezy. Chief? Obviously. Look, what do you think would happen if the two of us went gallivanting off together? My dear Neo would come along for a grand emotional reunion and find this place empty. Just the thought of it. My own darling daughter, sitting alone in this room. Pining for her papa. Ah, nope, not on my watch. I'd never let that happen. So I'll be the hold down the fort chief. Which means you get the pleasure of being the expedition chief. <laughs> which brings me to this. Go on, have it. An expedition uniform. Can we just pop that on? Oh, look at that. Wow. Ha <laughs> look at that, fits you like a glove. I thought I brought some spare uniforms so my dear Nia would have a few to change into. I'm wearing a girl's uniform. So there's enough to give you one. And if you ever need to change or have a kip, by all means, just head into my bed, the bedroom back here. You want me to go in the... <laughs> got some different colored scarves in there, so switch it up if you fancy a bit of style. Here, have these two. A legendary clue. Clue about the King of Bountiful Harvest. It's written by Peony, and an old photo is attached. Hey, there's the, the statues fixed. There's a fairy tale in Freezington about the legendary Pokemon known as the King of Bountiful Harvest. In this legend, in the legends, the king is said to wear a massive crown on its head. But the wooden statue near the fields in the middle of the village shows no sign of a crown. Clue about the legend of giants. It's written by Peony. Far, far in the giant's bed lies a temple where the giant's of stone sleeps. On the temple's door are strange words. Let the mon change one. The door remains firmly shut. Let the Pokemon something 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 someone. <laughs> Oh, there's a second one. Sunken in the side of Snowside Slope lies a temple where the giant of ice sleeps. On the temple's door are strange words. Something together, something, something, something of snow. No wind? <laughs> the door remains firmly shut. Near where green meets snow in the giant's bed. There's a temple where the giant of steel sleeps. On the temple's door are strange words. Um. Yeah, I'm not making out any of those words besides waking. And lastly, 
On the distant plains of the Three Point Pass lies a temple where two giants sleep. On the temple's doors are strange words. Yada yada yada. Door. Something he opened. The door remains firmly shut. So we need the first three to get the last three two legend edgies. Here's clue three about the legendary birds. When the sun reaches its zenith, it shines directly down upon a great tree with leaves that seem to burn. It is there that the legendary wings come to roost. The legendary clues have been meticulously compiled from hours of dedicated telewatching. First of all, why not have a look at those clues about the King of Bountiful Harvest? Seems like this king bonds with its loyal steed, or whatever you call it, run proper deep. So if I had to make it to name this expedition, I'd call it the Sacred Bonds of Sovereign and Steed. There's a great big statue of it, bang in the middle of the village, though its head isn't as massive as in my note. Do you want to change back in your usual clothes now? Time to investigate? Aha, I've just had an idea. Here's a little something to help you out. What? This is supposed to be one ultra mega corker of a ball. Use it wherever you think you ought to. I got it ages ago from somebody I used to know. Never could bring myself to use it though. If you ever get a bit turned around, come on back to base camp anytime. You can't miss it. Just look for the adventure and cruise flag I stuck out front. Handmade by yours truly. Anyway, I suppose that's that. Let the grand adventure begin. Have a smashing time out there. Um, change my color armbands. Can I do that? Different color? Can I get dark? No. Ew, I thought I figured it'd be black, not uh, the weird pink color. Let's grab the head of the statue. Obvi hey, Chief! My pillow's caught. You're sleeping on a rock? Your pillow? Oi, listen here, Chief. I've got some wisdom to impart. If you can put your head on it, have a kip, it's a pillow. Unfortunately, I went and left my favorite pillow back at home. So I went to have a look around town for something to rest my head on, and I grabbed this right off the top of the statue, apparently. And I found this out back behind the inn. And I have it. Come off of it! You want me to hand over my ultra-mega comfy pillow? That's asking a lot, even coming from you, Chief. Hmm, what's that? You think my pillow's got something to do with a legendary Pokemon? Ultra Mega Seriously? This is just some old thing I found. But if you really want it, Chief, who am I to refuse? Alright, alright, go on then have it. But you better make sure you track the halogen down. A wooden crown. I thought it was a rock. A mysterious object made of wood. Part of it seems to be chipped. Maybe it's meant to be part of something. And now it's all like open for us. There's that purple pink tree. Some temples. different tree
and the statue. Interesting. I want flying gun out front. Oh, my Pokemon got healed. Oh, flying gun. All right, let's. Why did he just put an explanation point above his head? Huh? Okay. It's a statue of Pokemon, but it's missing something. Looks like the wooden crown would fit onto the statue's head. Russell, Russell, Squonk. Now the rabbit has a fancy hat. The wooden crown fits perfectly on the statue. Crown? Who made that noise? What? Does it want you to follow it? Who said that? I knew this place would be important. Seems as if the mysterious Pokemon wants to test your strength. Do you want to ready a Pokeball? Crow, wow, crow. Question mark appeared. Hmm. His head glows. A nerve. You think he had, he doesn't have levitate? I could ground move him. Good dragon dance. What type do you think this man is? Does not say, but he's missing attack somehow. That's Earthquake. Not very effective. Size Shock coming in. Wasn't expecting a Side Shock. Maybe a Grass type move. That's Dragon Rush. And this music is insane. Big damage. Heal Pulse. It heal, heal me. It only healed me. Another dragon rush finishes it off. Yo man, he healed me. Garito and Jaeger leveling up. Flygon's wings make so much noise. <laughs> Ground, 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 ground. Did you have fun? Okay. Yeah. Nobody understands you. Oi, oi, what's up? I heard a big ruckus coming from over here. What's this now, chief? Were you having a Pokemon battle? Huh? What a massive noggin! Now you just insult the man, he's gonna run away. What's this? Ah! What is going on? This 
dude is getting like his hat is floating in the air. Oh yes. He's taking control of him. Oh my gosh. A sturdy body, just as I expected. I hope he doesn't mind that I make use of it for the time being. Are you the Pokemon? Oh, I see you have grasped the situation already. Very astute of you. This guy just got so much like, I feel like he's evil. I am Calyrex, and I am the one known as the King of Bountiful Harvests. I have borrowed this man's body in order to thank you in person, so to speak. Indeed, there are no words to adequately express my gratitude to Toyu for restoring my statue. In days long, I reigned over these lands as king. The humans offered me their loyalty and respect, and I was able to bring lush vegetation to the land and give them plentiful harvest, year after year. However, it seems that over many, many years, the people of this land have forgotten my existence. They used to make offerings to me every year, but even that tradition has long since been lost to the ravages of time. You see, it is the faith of the people that grants me strength. And now, I have lost all but a fraction of my former power. Even my loyal steed has abandoned me. I'm sure you could find a horse anywhere. However, you were kind enough to restore my statue, and that act has restored some strength to me. At le least enough to speak to you by borrowing the body of another. Now, kind-hearted human child, I have a favor to ask of you. I must know, once and for all, whether the Pokemon People have truly forgotten about me. I wish you to speak to the villagers and ask if they remember the King of Bountiful Harvest. I have tried asking them myself, you understand, but they treated me like some sort of fairy tale creature or flew into a mild panic at the sight of me. Please, kind hearted human, I beg you to help me. You jotted down the current status is on Legendary Clue 1. Kelly Rex appeared once I replaced the crown on the statue of the King of Bountiful Harvest. Kelly Rex can apparently speak to humans by taking over a person's body. Peonies in this case. Now I need to gather more information on the crown King of Bountiful Harvest from the people of the village. And I must hurry before he takes over my body too. And I'm going to wrap up episode two right here next episode we're gonna go talk to the town see if they remember calyrex and i'm probably gonna change out my team as we are not well suited to be fighting ice types togekiss is probably gonna be gone venusaur probably maybe flygon and i probably don't need an ice type <laughs> sadly <laughs> Although, Flygon might just stay on because I love him so much. Anyway, I'll see you guys in episode 3 tomorrow as we hopefully capture Calyrex. I don't think they give it to us that easy. Although we got a Master Ball. I'll see you guys 